Posh Travel Blog and welcome back to our subscribers. I'm Christina. And I'm Stuart. And we're currently on board Holland America Line's new Statendam doing an Eastern Mediterranean cruise. And we're here today to give you the full dining guide. Talk about food, which is my favourite topic. But unfortunately, I've eaten too much of it over the last month, so that, that isn't so good. Um, so what we're going to do today, go through the restaurants, drop the images in of the restaurants, also drop some of the dishes in. And I've got the menus on the television here, so I'll give you a quick example of starters, main courses, and then Christina's got the prices for the speciality the dining as well. But just to say the food's good on here. Um, we've, we went on Oosterdam last year, and we think the food was slightly better last year, but it's still very good this year. And uh, the speciality dinings on here are options are better because they've got a lovely Thai restaurant which we love and uh, Rudy sell them there which they didn't have on Oosterdam so yeah. without further ado oh you're going to say oh, yeah. just about before the... we before we start um if, you, if you've not subscribed to our channel we are doing a full ship tour on the new Statendam uh we've done a full um whether it's worth taking have it all um because again you do get some visits included to the speciality restaurants so take a look at that and some other uh, ship tours are on there and there's going to be a full ship guide as well and so cabin tours as well so yeah so subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up that would be yeah. great fantastic so here we go all about food the best part so we're going to start with the complimentary restaurants uh the main dining room which is open for breakfast and for dinner and on a port day it's also sorry on a sea day it's also open for lunch as well so um very, very yeah. nice. We it? never really went for breakfast because it's a bit too early for us. I mean, breakfast finished about half past eight, uh, which is a bit early, whereas the Lido buffet, which we'll go to in a minute, stayed open a lot later and also there was room service. Um, so the, it's over decks two and three, this restaurant. It's a lovely restaurant, yeah. It sort of spans over, over the two floors. Yeah, with all quite nice lighting. But the thing is that I went on the ship tour about the colour scheme and this dining room is Clash City. It's yellow and red, and it's just really it's odd. Custard yellow walls, isn't it? Yeah, and red, red lights, really a strange combination. It is. But actually, the service in there is really good. The waiters have been lovely, um, and the hostess is at the door, and the food's been very good, hasn't very, it? Very, very good, yeah. Um, so if we'll just give you an example of menu, I've just brought it up on the television here. So um, this is tonight's menu. Uh, smoked salmon rosettes with bay shrimp salad and uh, salmon caviar. Uh, crispy Thai vegetable spring rolls. Uh, this is, I'm not going to read it all out. Uh, tomato soup, French onion soup, that's always on there. Caesar salad, that's always on there. Um, and then main courses, uh, there's a lamb shank, Provencal lamb shank tonight with carrots and mashed potato, crab carbonara, there's a petite beef tenderloin with, cre with cream leeks and bacon, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then crispy sweet and sour uh, shrimps. There's always garlic herb roasted chicken on the menu, and there's always salmon on the menu, and there's always lasagna on the menu. Um, so but it's, it's very, and then you can also pay a supplement and have lobster tails, uh, two lobster tails for $15 plus 18% service, um, or filet mignon and a lobster tail for 18, or a pinnacle grilled strip loin steak for 20. And then desserts, you've got pear strudel with vanilla mm. sauce, you've got double chocolate tart with creme anglaise, and then if you want, cheese you can ask for cheese because we ask for cheese and they'll bring it so they um, are very good yeah and if you want extra steamed vegetables they'll bring a bowl you yeah. just sort of tell them in advance or again if you go give them notice uh, they anything you sort of want special specially ordered then they will try and, and endeavor to get that in and you. special diets as well yeah. you just they, they'll ask you at the start special diets just give them some notice on that but they're yeah. very accommodating deck two you'll see the video deck two is open seating so you can go anytime between five and nine and deck three is set sittings on two separate times. Um, we were open dining, so we just turned up and they find you a table. So no, uh, very, very good. good. But the food in that restaurant, uh, really good. Uh, can't complain, can we, about no, that? So um, well Fantastic. done, Holland. Just forgot something quite important that a lot of people enjoy is afternoon tea. Yeah, it's in the main dining room. We did um, try it once on the, on the cruise, so that was that was lovely. It's a bit early, um, I think. It started at three. Yeah, I, I thought, thought maybe would four good. would be a good time for afternoon tea in England. It is. Uh, so, um, and they had selection of uh, sandwiches with the crust removed, scones with jam and cream, and some cakes and things. So that was, we went there one afternoon, but once was enough. <laughs> Just meant to say we've obviously been on for a month now um it's two sort of back-to-backs fortnights uh, and the menu in the main dining room has been different every night for a fortnight we're only now seeing things repeating 
uh, in our second fortnight. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, we've been eating in speciality um, restaurants sporadically as well. So maybe we missed if they did the same thing twice. But uh, for every time we've been in there, it's, it's a different choice. So which has been really it's great. It's been hasn't lovely. It? Yeah. yeah so really good selection. Uh, so the next complimentary restaurant is the Lido Market. Uh, we did spend quite a bit of our time there, sort of breakfast yeah. and, and lunch times. Lunches. Um, so it's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner there. So if you don't want the formality of going into the main dining room, it's more more relaxed, more casual there. So um, you get a full... Yeah, it's open <laughs> for snacks as well in between times. Uh, there's only about an hour and a half in the morning, an hour and a half in the afternoon when it's not open. And that's from 6am to 11.30pm. So... I don't think you'll ever go hungry on board, that's for sure. It's a good selection. Fantastic, yeah. Breakfast is everything, really, that you'd want, really. Uh, eggs. eggs, bacon, all the or normal full English or American breakfasts, uh, fruits cereals, cereals yeah. fruits, um, everything, everything. It's a really good selection. And lunch is a similar thing. There's always a joint being carved. Uh, there's like an Indian-Chinese sort of corner um, with sushi. Um, and then there was... Uh, so much choice, salads, pasta, you yeah, name it. They make the salads up for you, Dif uh, different Caesar, Asian salads, so um, yeah. really, really nice. And then dinner, we never went there. We always used to go to the dining room, um, but the dinner, they, they virtually mirror the dining room menu up there with maybe a few more options up there. Just um, got freedom to choose your own. And, yeah, and it's a lot quieter up there. And you can take your plate and go through the leader out to the back deck and sit outside and eat, which is which really is nice, nice on a warm evening. a nice evening. bar outside, so yeah, that's a nice... nice Staff are very good again, and the food choices were excellent, so um, always loads to choose from. There's lots of complimentary restaurants on board um, the ship, so you never get bored. There's always always something that you'll fancy. Uh, so Dive In uh, is the burger bar, which is the best I think we've ever had at sea. It really They're is. the best um, burgers, yeah, we think. They are fantastic. All the burgers we've tried on cruise ships, and we don't eat masses of burgers, but they're delicious. And there's one particular burger we like, which is with the lettuce leaves rather than bread. They do the free dive, dive I free think dives. it's called. Yeah. Really tasty. And the chips are like, the fries are like uh, Parmesan fries. So you can tell we enjoyed it. it <laughs> and they do hot dogs and things. We just did it a couple of times, didn't we? But yeah. Yeah, that's um, deck nine by the swimming pool. And it's open, good good hours actually. It opens about 11, I think, or and then yeah, it goes 11, through till 7 p.m. 11.30 till 6 p.m. Yeah, 11.30 till 6. So. Which is great if you've been out on a tour and you come back and you've missed lunch. Um, you can sort of grab a burger there or a hot dog. But, yeah, know, lovely. Really That's good really restaurant. Really. And then upstairs, also on deck nine by the central swimming pool, upstairs is the New York Pizza. Is it New York? I think it's on deck 10, actually. It's just oh, one Oh, yeah, up. New York yeah, Pizza in Delhi. Yeah, which, um, again, they've got the pizza ovens there. Lovely um, crispy pizzas and salads. Um, and sort of wraps, I think they have there. Yeah, well, and they've got quite nice so seating around there. You can yeah. see it. I'll be dropping the images in now. Sort of white leather seating. Um, it's that's really open. Nice. Uh, that's open from 7.30 till 11 a.m. So obviously do a... Um, they must do a, a, a lighter bagels, breakfast or breakfast something. There. And then, a, oh yeah, an express breakfast between 7.30 and 11. And then 11.30... Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the morning. In the morning through to 11 at night. So, yeah, so uh, you can eat pizza yeah. all day long. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a change sometimes from the... Um, but they look lovely. We didn't eat there honest because there was just too many choices we weren't you know we we're trying to be a bit healthier on this cruise didn't happen but <laughs> we didn't eat the pizza but it looked lovely so they're the two uh, sort of fast food joints around the pool so on deck three um, they've also got the Dutch cafe which is a lovely um, blue and white Dutch themed cafe and you can order coffees there teas um, or speciality coffees and they also do snacks um, they had Dutch things uh, Dutch Pea soup. Pea soup. And herrings, the Dutch herrings. herrings. All Dutch, yeah, Dutch influenced really uh, nice snacks. Idea. So you could just order those there, including the price. Um, and if you've got, and you can just obviously have the coffees pay for them, or if you're on have it all, I think the speciality coffees are included as one of your drinks for the day. So, um, but it was a nice yeah, little it was place. A nice touch, yeah, yeah, pretty. You get fries down there as well. Very popular. People really liked sitting in there and uh, just reading it a book. It had a heart and, to it, didn't it? it really was. Yeah, near guest there, services. So, so, so yeah. again, if you're peckish, that was and had some sweet treats in there as well. So yes, they cookies did. And cookies. Cookies. <laughs> so that's the Dutch cafe on deck three. Um, the other complimentary is the room service, which is an extensive menu. 
and it's it's lovely. You don't pay any extra for it. It's, as I say, complimentary. Um, but it really is lovely. We tend to have our yeah, breakfasts delivered most mornings. And, and no charge, which we just went on NCL, and they were charging for it. And nine, I think celebrity were as well. So yeah, it's yeah. all included. So it's great. Yeah. Um, so the menu, I'll just give you a quick idea. Uh, so quesadillas, cheese and fruit, chicken noodle soup, uh, Caesar salad, Cobb salad, oven roasted chicken, rigatoni sandwiches, roast beef panini, that Ooh, is delicious, that is delicious. Uh, yeah, barbecue pulled pork sub club sandwiches and then there's some desserts and you can also order anything from the dive in burger restaurant and have that delivered. Otherwise at certain times you can, um, or breakfast, uh, that's quite extensive breakfast menu. You can order when the restaurant's open. You can order anything at the, during those times from the restaurant menu. Apart from that, uh, up till ten o'clock, you can order breakfast, which you get scrambled eggs or anything like that. So, yeah. but certain items are only available in the main dining room. But you can always get something, so you yeah. won't starve. And the fruit was was lovely in the morning because in the buffet sometimes you didn't get this big selection of fruits whereas on the room service I think it came from the a la carte restaurants you'd get the berries and some mango and it just nicely presented so that was uh, it was, it was nice, yeah nice, nice so, and you can go up to the buffet and like I said it's more cafeteria bustling and noisy or have it delivered to your suite and just sit on your balcony and eat in peace and quiet which is wonderful Lovely. So uh, that's definitely worth doing. Um, and then you can also order from the Pinnacle Grill and Tamarind, which we're going to come over to in a minute, during the times, but you do have to pay the supplement, supplement for that. For um, so, But to be honest with you, if you're going to order from Pinnacle Grill or Tamarind, go to the restaurants because they're lovely. And we're going to come to that in a minute, aren't they? So, so room service on this cruise, excellent. Spot on. Really good. So we're going to go to the supplement restaurants now. Um, if you're on Have It All, you get two visits included in the package, usually on a two-week cruise, which would be Pinnacle Grill and Tamarind. Um, uh, but if you were on another one of the smaller ships like Oosterdam, it would be Pinnacle Grill and Canaletto. Um, so we'll begin with the cheapest one, uh, which you have to pay a supplement for, which is Canaletto. Canaletto yeah, it's $25 per person supplement to go into Canaletto. Plus 18%. Yeah, and it's just um, located off of the Lido market buffet restaurants, so it's just a sort of yeah. sectioned off bit to the side there. We didn't like this. Um, the service and the food was nice, but it was sectioned off from the, like Christine said, the Lido buffet. So you don't feel like you're going to a special no. occasion restaurant like you did at the others. Give you an idea of the menu. Uh, so this is that they do what small plates, large plates, and desserts. So quickly. Um, veal and sage meatballs, langoustine tomato soup, canaletto salad, mozzarella de buffalo, beef carpaccio, grilled calamari, which was quite nice. There's more on there, I'm just giving an example. And then large plates, lasagna bolognese, spaghetti vongole, um, uh, braised beef short rib gnocchi, grilled lamb chops, branzino alla siciliana, so that's a steak. And they also do a special, yeah. each day of the week there's a different special on, so whichever night you book it on there's a, there's a different special. See, yeah, so. exactly. Um, and then they do desserts and obviously affogato there, Sicilian marzipan casator. Oh, I was looking for it, tiramisu. I've got to have tiramisu, haven't you? It's delicious. <laughs> so, so that's Canaletto. We went once, food nice, service nice, location not so great, not so, and it does need a refit. It just... It's going into dry dock, that's what I was going to say earlier. Mm. So hope, hopefully, they said they're going to change carpets and colour schemes, so maybe... Yeah, so when the dry dock the happens, they might turn it and make it more like an Italian restaurant rather than an cozy, Indian yeah. restaurant. <laughs> so that's Canaletto. So the next one, which is my personal favourite, I absolutely loved Ours. it. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, and I think you like the pinnacle as well. Um, yeah, Tamarind uh, is just amazing. It's an Asian restaurant. Uh, it's $35 supplement per person, plus the 18%. Uh, it's situated at the, at the aft of the, of the ship. Uh, it's beautiful. You feel like you're walking into a, a five-star hotel in Bangkok. The lighting, the girls are in costume. Uh, it's very, very intimate. There's a lovely little bar to the side of it, and you can get the sushi in there as well. But oh, it's delicious. We've been about three oh, times. It's the best, the best on here. Um, definitely the best. And we're booked tonight as well to go. Yeah, so we thought the last visit. night we'd treat ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> Why not? It really is. Um, but the they're very generous because you can choose like two appetizers, appetizers per person, and then you can order a main course uh, with sides and dessert. And uh, oh, crumbs! You come so full when you leave that restaurant. So I'll give you an example of the appetizer. The food's really lovely, and the staff are excellent. 
satay, um, and it's lovely. It's like beef, prawn, chicken satay with a lovely peanut sauce. Shrimp tempura, really good. Really That's lovely. really lovely. Um, Thai citrus scallops, uh, lobster and shrimp pot stickers, shiitake and toffee spring rolls. We've tried most of these. Um, and so uh, then they've got the soups, Tom Kha soup. Um, it's a mixture of uh, different countries, Malaysian, Thai, Indonesia. Yeah, so. um, and then for main course, our favourite dish on there is the cashew barramundi red Thai curry. And that is a lovely piece of barramundi fish with the red curry around it. Lovely. Really delicious. delicious. We'll have that tonight. And um, then you've got wasabi and soy crusted beef tenderloin, uh, crispy duck. Uh, one of our party had that and said it was delicious. Thai basil Szechuan shrimp, Penang red curry, coconut chicken. So some really Mongolian barbecue lamb chops. Some really Lovely nice dishes. things on this. That is, if you get, come on this cruise and you like Asian food, book this restaurant for oh, sure it's fabulous. and then the delicious desserts as well yutsu cheesecake uh, mango posset which was so tasty uh, then they do exotic fruits passion fruit cloud with light egg white souffle and passion fruit sorbet and the selection of homemade oh, sorbets lychee lemon basil and yutsu is so delicious yeah. so, and so we can't say enough about this restaurant so good, aren't they? yeah really we, we thought you know, they do a theme. We go to Thailand a lot. We, they do a theme. We thought, oh, is this going to be any good? And actually, it's really good. Very, so, very good. yeah, really yeah, impressed. Yeah, tamarind, fantastic. definitely book tamarind yeah. if you like Asian food and you're on this cruise. And it's situated at the back of the ship, overlooking the swimming pool. And it's all wooden. You'll see in the images I'm dropping, uh, all wooden Venetian blinds and lovely seating, like Christina said. They've themed it. So, why they didn't theme Canaletto? The same. Why they theme that like an Indian restaurant rather than Italian? I don't know. But uh, this one is really, oh, they hit the mark with this yeah. one. So, yeah, lovely restaurant. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, the sushi is within the Tamarind. But it's Nami Sushi Restaurant. So it has its own own menu there. And it's a lovely sort of sit-up bar, uh, sushi bar there, isn't it? Um, yeah, very um, popular, menu. actually. And uh, so I'll give you just a quick brief uh, look at the menu. Starters, because a lot of people do like sushi. Uh, tofu Murakami Miso Soup. Uh, spicy edamame, vegetable tempura, tuna poke, hamachi scallop and salmon, salmon uh, ceviche, panko fried asparagus. Uh, then they've got signature dishes, hamachi usuzu, oh sorry my Japanese isn't that good, uh, crispy lobster tempura, uh, albacore tuna, asparagus and salmon, and fried soft-shell soft -shell crab. crab. And it's all priced individually as well on there, so. Yeah, so. And then they've got, yeah, so it's all priced individually. So you obviously go there and then just, because we never rate in there. So you go there and decide what you want and then you just pay by the thing. I mean, sashimi is $3, salmon yellowtail, tuna, and cobia. Or nigiri sushi is also $3, tuna, yellowtail, salmon, cobia. There's quite a few octopus. Um, and then you've got the rolls, California rolls, $5, spicy tuna, five fifty, rainbow, five fifty, yellowtail and scallion, $5. So and that gives you an idea. And then the entrees, Thai basil Szechuan shrimp, $15. Wasabi and soy crusted beef tenderloin, fifteen fifty. Penang red curry coconut chicken, fourteen fifty. Yeah, it is. We never ate here. We're crazy. Well, we're going in tonight to Tamarind. <laughs> Maybe we'll hop over to have Some of those dishes are coming from... Uh, uh, they must be from Tamarind. Tamarind yeah, restaurant. So, yeah. kitchen. But I think... And then you've got the, the desserts of $4 each. So I think if you were eating all that sushi and had an entree and had that would add up to quite a bit actually. Good. So it makes tamarind um, very good value. For yeah, money, good value yeah. for money in comparison. Um, but at least you've got the option. People who love sushi, good option there. So another favourite of ours is the Pinnacle Grill. Uh, the supplement on that one's forty six dollars per person plus the eighteen uh, percent. Again, reservations. It was used to get very busy in there. Yeah, so really well popular, and of course. People, sorry, who are on Have It All would have got into there included. So obviously they're doing the reservations. But we always got in whenever we wanted to because we weren't on Have It All. So. And I think because we dine a little bit later as well. So we yes. If you're flexible to go early or later, you'll get in most days. It's those central hour, uh, 7, 7.30 that people, most people like to eat. We like to eat slightly later. Uh, but this is on deck uh, two and um, really well appointed. You'll see the video we're dropping in now. And the food is really delicious wasn't it amazing yeah it really is lovely. they do lunch for oh, 19.95 plus yeah, half half price on, yeah. on a 
on a sea day mm. uh, that it's open for but, lunch. But then you think, do I really want to go and eat a great big steak at lunchtime? Probably not. Uh, so dinner menu, appetizers, uh, heart of romaine Caesar salad, steak tartare, jumbo lump crab cakes, iceberg wedge salad, lobster bisque, jumbo shrimp cocktail, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Forest mushroom soup, and then uh, then they do the grill. They've got the steaks, uh, beef tenderloin with lobster uh, with lobster dumplings, a filet mignon eight ounce, a New York strip twelve ounce, and a boneless ribeye fifteen ounce. Now they're all included in the price. Yeah, this is the naughty one here, isn't it? The five on oh, oh, here as well. The five ounce lobster tail is a ten dollar supplement. Yeah. yeah. In the main dining room, you can get it for fifteen dollars. You've already paid your forty eight. $46 to go in there. It's a little yeah, bit naughty, really. This is um, when we get to Rudy Seldomer, then we really have a little moan about yeah. that. Um, but when you're paying this sort of supplement to go in these restaurants, I understand that some people have got them included with have it all. But if you're paying $46 plus 18%, really, they should be including uh, this the lobster yeah. tail, but they're charging you another $10 for that. So, um, But pretty good, pretty good. There's a lot to choose from. And if you don't want to eat steaks, then they've got lamb chops, they've got chicken breast, it's all grilled food. Uh, there's a, a, a vegetarian option there, tomato and eggplant tart to tan. Uh, they've got uh, Beyond Meat kofta, so that's the no meat uh, for vegetarians. And then they've got the seafood as well, Alaskan king salmon, seared jumbo scallops, baked Alaskan halibut, and, um, oh, you can add the a 12 ounce main lobster tail, but again, $15 supplement. But I'll be, it, to be fair, there's a lot of choice on there really included is. in the price. The setting's lovely. The service is really amazing. It's top notch. It's it? probably, we love tamarind because we love Asian food, but I'd say this is the best restaurant on the ship. Uh, probably first equal with tamarind. It, it is, you know? yes. Yeah, for yeah, service, for setting, for food. Yeah. Um, and then desserts, key lime pie, not so classic baked Alaska, a chocolate souffle, creme brulee, ice cream sorbet, or assortment of international cheeses. So if you're not hungry now, <laughs> I'd be very surprised after reading all those delicious things out. So let's hope you're not watching this video at dinner time. <laughs> so that's Pinnacle Grill, amazing. So finally, the most expensive speciality restaurant on board is Rudy's Seldomer, which is the fish restaurant. It is beautiful and um, it's on deck two. It's uh, got all sort of wooden panelling of sort of shiny, high gloss, like walnut really. Um, so you feel like you're in a, a carriage. Uh, the, the plates, the tables. Oh, I love the plates. The plates oh, are amazing. It's a beautiful restaurant, really is lovely. But it is expensive. It's $55 per person supplement and again plus the 18%. Yeah. And that, doesn't come included with the have it all package so uh, you, you will have to pay to go into there but yeah so gripe, we're, you know. we're a bit disappointed because we loved it the food was what that we ordered was lovely but you're paying fifty five dollars plus eighteen percent so everything should be included but on here the fish options quite a few supplements and I don't agree with that because if you're paying that high supplement already they should be included especially I'll go over it I mean, there's certain things I was going to say, like caviar or the last oh, no. king crab. Well, no, you know, no. you expect to pay king crab caviar. Yeah. yeah, everybody knows you've, you've got to pay something. But there's a lot of supplements. That. But Dover sole. I mean, I'll get to that in a second. Dover sole should be included. We went to Murano on celebrity cruises. Dover sole absolutely was included as one of the specialty dishes. On here, they make a charge. I'll just get to that. We'll do the starters. So, um, okay. So their their signature starter dish here is fruit de mer. But king crab legs, langoustine, crab claws, jumbo shrimp, mussels, clams, oysters. But they want another $32 supplement for that. So that's quite steep. Um, then you've got a trio of seafood salad included, hot smoked salmon, marinated lobster, classic baked escargot, which is, I don't really think that's sort of a fish dish. Anyway, uh, foie gras de canard, um, uh, steak tartare, crab bisque. I mean, they're included. Uh, tuna salad, niçoise, fried calamari. Uh, so they are included. Like Christina said, you can have uh, caviar, but you have to pay for that. So obviously an $80 supplement. Um, and then the entrees. So this is where we, we were a bit like, a bit disappointed. So we've got grilled shrimp Provençal. I think, did we order that? Oh no, we had the seafood platter. Uh, you've got boulebas, 
that's included. But then if you're going to have a lobster, you've got to pay another $19. And I think if you're already paying $55 plus 18%, they should include a lobster uh, yeah. as standard. I mean, that's... Um, then you've got a grilled seafood platter, which we had, which, um, is which is scallops, jumbo shrimp and salmon. I'll drop a picture in now. It was done very tastefully on a plate with a metal uh, hanging thing with the shrimp hanging that you'll see. And then I, that's the one that really gets to me. Hold over Sol Munia, $15 supplement. You know, that shouldn't yeah. be really. Um, and it's all the fish dishes that seem to have the big supplements and it's a fish restaurant. Exactly. Uh, and then you've got fresh fish of the day. And we said, well, what's the fresh fish of the day? I can't remember. It, it was something like... Sea bream or, or sea bass. Or, sea bream or yeah. sea bass, yeah. Um, and then you can have a whole lobster and then you pay a supplement of 28. But I mean... Again, it's quite... Yeah, plus the 18. Yeah, so I think if you're paying 55, I think some more inclusions should, should be on there, be. normal inclusions. Yeah. Um, and then you've got Chef Rudy's speciality, Coco Van, where you can eat that in the main dining room, oh. and Tornados Rossini, filet mignon and foie gras. It is Chef Rudy's, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is yeah. Chef Rudy's. Yeah. So um, if Rudy's um, arranged it, you've got to pay more. And uh, then what else have we got? And then they've got the sides, cauliflower puree, haricot vert, ratatouille, pom frites and pom puree. We couldn't fault the food. The food was amazing in there, as I say, and the atmosphere, yeah, was. the setting, it was, it was lovely. And the service, really lovely. service yeah. was just, really good as well. So. It's just some of these things. Yeah, we're just having a little gripe yeah. because we think more should be included for that much sort of money. And lovely desserts, apple tart tartan, Rudy's face-to-face -face chocolate, profiteroles, crepe suzette, I think we were too full, and we might have had the artisanal French cheeses. I can't remember now, but yeah, yeah the food, the restaurant's beautifully appointed, the service is excellent. Um, um, but Plates what about the nice. drinks? Do you have to pay? Um, I think you could have your have it all. You can in have there, that, yeah. yeah. So then, but you're, you're just oh, yeah, because we wine, actually yeah. went for it. They've got, yeah. then they offer you more expensive bottles of wine, and we did go for a nice bottle of wine actually that night. So, um, but yeah, food are lovely, but. Just a bit of a gripe over those supplements. A bit too expensive, really. When you can go to Pinnacle Grill and you don't have so many supplements or tamarind and they're cheaper and, you, and majorities included, I think this restaurant's a bit expensive. So, But very good. Yeah, we enjoyed it. So finally, there's one more restaurant. It's called Club Orange and it's available for any guests staying in the Pinnacle or the Neptune Suites. It's a complimentary restaurant that's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, it's lovely. It's on deck two. It's quite small. It's intimate. It's got an open kitchen with the chefs there. So it's the same menu as the main dining room, uh, but it just feels more um, special because they're, they're cooking it fresh to the table. And, um, and they haven't nice picked the staff in there as yeah. well. Because our fabulous waiter, who we had the first cruise, disappeared. And we said, we found him. We said, what you, you know, he's been moved into the uh, orange restaurant. So obviously they put the best in there. Yeah, and we did, get, sweets. yeah, we did dine in there one night, and it was lovely. It, it was the same menu, and they have an extra daily special in there as well to the main dining restaurant. But it did feel more of an affair, didn't it? The service yeah. was lovely, and we did enjoy um, that. It was nice. Yeah. Well, we hope you found the dining guide informative, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, as I say, do take a look at our, our channel or, and subscribe to our channel, the Posh Travel Blog. Down there or down there. And give us a thumbs up, that really, really does help. And uh, as I say, we've got the Have It All package on there. We've got the full ship tour going on. Uh, obviously, cabins. this dining guide and the cabins. And the cabins yeah. as well. So, yeah, so thanks for watching. And I hope you find all of our videos really informative. And Chris, like Christine says, thumbs up really means a lot because it knows, tells us we're doing the right thing. So, great. So, Thank you. See very you much. again. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye.